The CIA Museum is committed to providing access to our history in as many ways as possible so that our officers and our partners can learn about our mission and our people, amazing people like Virginia Hall. This tactile exhibit, a first of its kind here at CIA, is a 3D rendering of our painting, the Marguerite Flournon ce soir by artist Jeffrey Bass. The painting depicts Virginia Hall sending a radio transmission from a barn in occupied France during World War II. Her prosthetic leg, Cuthbert, as she called it, is shown near her radio. The CIA wanted to bring this painting to life for our officers or visitors who have low sight or who are blind. By working with the company 3D Photo Works, we were able to create a 3D replica of the painting where you actually set off sensors and hear audio descriptions and sound effects over the exact piece of the painting that you are now feeling. Shown here, Virginia Hall wears a high top leather shoe that is laced to Buttons at the bottom of the painting explain how to use the tactile exhibit and give in-depth audio information about Virginia Hall's early life, her service during World War II, her post-war life, and a detailed description of the painting. Used to transmit Virginia Hall's messages in Morse code. Our art normally has written labels people can see and read, but this interactive, allows people with low or no sight the same opportunity to learn about Virginia Hall in this piece of art, though all of our users get more details now than they would from a label. Being the CIA, we couldn't just settle for buying audio of a radio transmission off the internet. So we reached out to two former Office of Technical Service officers who volunteered their time to actually recreate a transmission on a World War II era radio. As she transmits her Morse code message to London, Virginia Hall sent 37 messages from occupied France while serving with the OSS. This was an incredibly dangerous job, but just one of many dangerous jobs she did, not just for the OSS, but for the SOE and the CIA. She was chosen to be our first accessible painting for her bravery, her service, and because she's an inspiration to those who have overcome challenges in life.